All right, guys, welcome back. Real Car Guy Reviews. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. Uh, I want to talk to you guys real fast before we get into today's video. Don't forget, I'm trying to do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you're interested, I got a lot of gifts to give away. You know, we got some uh, AirPod Pros here from Apple here. Shoot, I might even give away a PS5. I heard you guys are having a hard time getting some of these. So you know, I got some cash to give away, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bar, man. If you're on Instagram, follow Real Car Guy Reviews. Even on TikTok, follow Real Car Guy Reviews. Stay tuned. We got a lot of content coming. Guys, I got a lot of stuff coming. I'm telling you right now. We, I think we got the lift figured out. We got the wheels figured out. I love the input. I love the advice. You guys are helping us out. Love all the hate comments too, but hey, other than that, the community has been good. You guys are some real car people, you know, that love real car shit. The Hellcat's doing well. I might have a surprise for you guys a little bit later on this month. We'll see. We'll we'll check it out, but stay tuned. Vegas. Hey, what you doing? Down. Good boy. How you doing? You're so good looking. Yes, you are. How you doing, handsome? Yeah. Oh, baby. You look good. Stop. Hmm. <laughs> I do get a lot of comments though about our bar. Yeah, here's our bar. Maybe we should do a house tour. Let me know if you guys want us to do a house tour, but this is pretty much my section right in here and here. Yeah, that's pretty much where I stay. Had some 1942s, but those are gone, obviously, but Christmas party is definitely fun. Thanksgiving party is definitely fun. So um, let me know, what do you guys have in your guys' area? What other bottles should I add into these areas? I got a couple Empty spots here for the tequila. Obviously, the 1942 is going to go right there. Uh, Ciroc's, I love those as well. So let me know if we should do a tour. So we got to feed the dogs. Just in case you guys want to know what I feed my dogs. A little bit of Victor right there. It has the highest crude fat there is, right? We obviously put it in this little barrel here for ourselves, but definitely feed them Victor. That's some good stuff there. We have some measurements out so they know exactly how much to get. Um, really good for if you're looking for American bullies or any dogs that are really athletic, gives them a ton of crude fat, um, which then turns into muscle. Obviously, we put a little bit of dine and things like that in that as well, too. All right, so these guys, my bully gets a little crazy. My Frenchie doesn't get that crazy, but... You see him? There's Meech. All right, you guys haven't seen him yet, but we'll feed him real quick. And then we'll feed Vegas, too. There's Vegas. All right. Set. Set. Good boys. All right. Guys, let's see if we could get that uh, early start real fast. Money machine. <laughs> The gas is always low on this thing. Man, I'll tell you what, it takes gas out of this thing every single week. It's crazy. All right, so every time I get a new vehicle or get a um, put, trade in one of my other cars, everybody always seems to ask, you know, how much was the car? How much did you pay? So I like to do these videos for you guys to know exactly how much the down payment was, how much my monthly payments are. Um, because I remember there was a time when I would look at videos to find out before I knew how much a car was, what it would take, you know, to get to that level, to be able to afford those cars. So I want to make sure I get this video for you guys. So you guys have a good understanding of, um, how I, you know, 
purchase some of these vehicles and what those payments are uh, for me as well too. Um, sorry I have to do this while I'm driving. I do have to go take a look at possibly the surprise. Let's see if we can close that a little bit. There we go. Um, but got a surprise coming for you guys for the channel possibly. Uh, I'll just let you a little hint. Obviously you guys know I've been after the C8 Corvette. Um, there's possibly one that's coming in, a 3LT 2020 um, that we might be able to add. Uh, I might add it just to the channel and not trade in anything or I might get the woman to actually trade in her Mercedes and then we'll have the Hellcat, um, the C8, and then obviously the uh, big lifted, big country truck as well too. So one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the down payment on the car. Now, before we get into that, um, let's talk about a couple things. Now, one thing's for sure guys, I would never recommend just to put a whole bunch of cash down because let's all face it, you already know every single car that you buy is a depreciating asset no matter what. Um, however, I am a car guy, I love it. Obviously I do it for the YouTube. I do have a business for it, so I do have write-offs for it. Um, but more importantly, I do have a lot, of, a lot of disposable income as well too. So guys, just remember, I'm never ever gonna preach to you about uh, financials decisions of putting a lot of cash down or uh, doing that things. I do it to make a comfortable payment so I can have multiple vehicles. Also to help my DTI because obviously we have properties and businesses and stuff like that as well um, that we also operate. So those things are important when it starts to come to your debt to income if you have a lot of outgo going out and you're applying for more things. So uh, but with this car here with the Hellcat, obviously you guys know uh, the window sticker. Well, I'll go ahead and put that on right now for you. So what made me want to get this car, the F8, obviously was Dodge had what is called the power days. And if you haven't seen the power dollar days, pretty much they were giving you like $10 per horsepower um, for yourself. So what happens up uh, was these Hellcats uh, were, ended up having like $7,000 um, in a rebate and incentive off of it. Uh, so it was something that was like, okay, well, you know, here's a good chance with some of my equity that I had in the ZL1 Camaro, but at the same exact time, uh, getting $7,000 in cash um, from obviously the manufacturer, they applied it in a rebate. And then me knowing Wyatt, obviously you guys know Wyatt, um, obviously he was gonna be able to give me a discount on the vehicle itself too. So at that point in time, I wanted to go ahead and say, you know what, let me see if I could take advantage of it year in run, obviously with COVID and everything that's going on. Um, I knew for a fact that, you know, maybe some of the dealerships around here would, you know, need to move a car, move a, a vehicle. And then plus all the 2021s are coming out. So I knew there was a chance to maybe help them unload. And the other thing is you got to remember guys, you know, just like um, us, you know, when we have a high dollar amount of something, a dealership does the same thing. If they have a high dollar amount, they do pay interest on it. It's called flooring. Okay. Um, so you guys will be able to know that they pay interest for those cars after a period of time. So let's say for example, they had uh, this Hellcat on their lot for, let's say, going on 300 days and after three or six months depending on their flooring plan they have to start paying what is called curtailment payments and curtailment payments allow them to get a percentage of the money off of the vehicle back to the bank they have to pay it down kind of like a write down for them um, and they have to pay interest for themselves and then after a period of time they actually have to be able to remove that vehicle off of it, pay it completely off, and then refloor it again, depending on the financing for it. But new cars is a little different than used cars. They have a longer time for new cars because it takes hard to turn. This car, however, was just brand new, uh, just got off the truck. I think it was in there 12 days. Remember, it didn't even have window tint on it, and I took it as it is. Um, I called Wyatt up. Wyatt was like, hey, you know, no way, don't come bother me about this. It's only been on the lot for 12 days. So I knew the cars all have hold back in them, um, which you guys should do your research on when you go buy a car. They all have hold back. So even when they sell it at invoice, the dealer still wins because it's a hold back money. There's a dollar amount that's still applied to the dealer that they're allowed to get that's below the invoice price. So I knew the dealer was gonna make hold back money. I just needed to find out what that hold back number was, right? So I called some other buddies, obviously why it wasn't gonna give it to me. I called some other buddies and I found out it was about $2,600 worth of holdback money, meaning that they sold it at invoice, the dealership was still gonna make $2,600. So I knew at that point they were gonna be profitable. Now, some dealers will allow you to be able to make uh, uh, their holdback money or some of them will just keep it and tell you just go away, especially if it's a hot car like this one is one of the only F8 wide body Hellcat chargers out there in Arizona. So this one was a little bit tougher for me to negotiate the holdback but I knew their profit margin, so I knew how, where I can negotiate with them at. So the area I started to negotiate them with on was my trade, obviously the ZL1 Camaro. Now with that Camaro, I knew that I owed like 51 grand, 52 grand 
um, off of it after trading in um, obviously the genesis to that one there but I knew that I had some equity in it so I know I needed to get um, a little bit more for my trade so I wanted to be roughly about 10 grand in equity there however I didn't get 10 grand in equity um, I want to say they gave me 60 two thousand sixty two thousand dollars um on the actual camaro so i got 62 grand i only owed 53 so that applied to it and then i put fifty three hundred dollars down on top of it um for this uh hellcat here all right guys sorry about that obviously had to get gas um told you guys <laughs> that it was on empty it's kind of one of the biggest things it's always on empty there so uh, but I did put $5,300 down with the vehicle to get it into the payments that I wanted to get it into. Um, obviously, I wanted to go a shorter term, so I, I stuck with the actual, uh, I think I went 70, yo, 72 months again, yeah. 72 months, um, roughly about 1,020. I got the maintenance package, uh, obviously, um, for it, just for the simple fact that I think it was like a total of $299 uh, for oil changes and maintenance on this thing for three years so i was like well each oil change is roughly about a hundred and some bucks and might as well go ahead and get it for 2.99 for three years get two a year and even if i don't use them i'm still getting my money worth so i took advantage of that so that was uh and then tire rotations and you know all the normal stuff there so um however with the camaro zl1 my payoff ended up coming back a little bit higher than i thought uh so that's the reason why that weird number if you ask it why it did 5300 um, was because it came up $300 higher, so I had to come up with another $300, uh, obviously, to take care of my high payoff for you. But so, roughly, I put $5,300 down the trade in of my Camaro ZL1. Obviously, you guys seen the sticker price was $80,000 and some change. I had the $7,000 in the Dodge Power money. I got them down, uh, I want to say, to there's about $4,300 in markup that was on that actual Hellcat. So $4,300 in markup. I got them all the way down to about 500 or 600 under invoice. So they still made the two grand, but then I had them put all the money they possibly could into my trade. So I got the 63,000 out of my Camaro for it um, to round out for myself. Ended up keeping my payments right about a thousand bucks, 1,024, like I said. Um, and for the 72 months and I owe 58 grand, right? So <clears throat> $58,000 is what my balance is on the Hellcat here. Um, I was just joking. I got a little car appraisal. I'm gonna probably take it to a CarMax just to get an idea to see what kind of value I'm in. Cause obviously whenever a factory gives you a big rebate or a big incentive like that, um, what that means is that they're pretty much gonna try to get most of that production out. But that also means it weakens the market, so it can weaken the value. My green obviously does mean something. The wide body means something. Um, and obviously having um, the Hellcat to it as well and low miles is going to mean something. But it does still weaken the market as well. So we'll see. I might make a video. Let me know if you're interested in that to see what they're giving me for the CarMax uh, for this vehicle. Also, there's like Carvana and all kind of new companies out there willing to buy cars. Just got to get an idea of what that money is. So you guys have some questions, let me know. Comment down below. Um, hopefully this video made a little sense for you guys. Um, if you had some questions about, you know, what banks or how I did the pre-qualifications and all that stuff, obviously you've seen the video before, you know, we showed up and just signed paperwork. So I had all that done ahead of time before I even walked into the building. So I was in and out of the dealership within 45 minutes. The other time was just, you know, messing around, um, with the dealership itself. So stay tuned guys, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the feedback, all the love. Um, we got a lot of great content coming your way. Stay tuned. Count last time. Here, I'll, I'll give you half the stack to help you with a little bit better. No, don't don't count it for him. Let him count it. Why? This is gonna suck ass. Oh yeah, this is funny though. Last time, why? How long did it take you to do this? Not. I see this is gonna be longer because um. Hey, at least they weren't in smaller bills. I try to get ones. Bills. We try to get ones and fives. Oh, last time we put twenty grand down. Yeah. We were trying to do all in ones, but no one would let us. Oh, we didn't get all in ones. <laughs> we thought about coming with her big old Louis Vuitton duffel bag and dumping all the ones on Wyatt, make it rain in here. Really, I got a crack dealer. Wyatt, what did you at? Seven? That's a thousand. Okay. Are you sure? You sure? You hope. You don't know? Dude, really? <laughs> Wyatt. Yeah, I'm at a thousand. That's a thousand. All right. Oh, God. Wait, how many sacks is that? Five each. <laughs> Ten. Ten.
This is this is circular like that, why? Right? The drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up.